This is the command center for the HydroTap boiling, chilled and sparkling. We have all our hose connections at the rear of the unit, we have an LCD on the front so you can control the unit and a filter door which houses the filter. Before we install the unit under the sink, we need to remove the little dust caps out of all the outlets. Also remove the mains in. Mixer out and mixer in are not required, so just leave the dust caps on. The unit now is ready to be installed under the bench. This is the boiling, chilled and sparkling model. Our first connection is our mains connection. The braided hose is supplied with the command centre. This is your water supply from the mains. You also get a carbonation valve. This has an Allen key adjustment on the back of it for a flow rate. This goes in your sparkling out. Now we'll move the hydro tap into the cupboard. The boiling chilled sparkling unit has been installed in the cupboard. Ventilation is extremely important. You'll see we have more than 50 millimetres air gap to the left of the unit and more than 50 millimetres air gap to the right of the unit. Also the overhang of the cupboard has been cut out to let cool air flow into the cupboard. I'm going to connect the water supply to the tap. Do the braided hose up finger tight and for the last quarter or half a turn use a shifting spanner to make sure it's nice and tight. Once the water connection has been made you need to connect the USB cable. There's a female connection from the unit and a male connection from the tap. Orientate them correctly and clip them together. You should hear a loud click when they are connected correctly. Once they're connected, wind up the USB cable and locate it in the rear of the cupboard, up out of the way. This will protect it from water damage or mechanical damage that may occur in the cupboard. Because this is a sparkling water unit, you will also receive a CO2 bottle, regulator and CO2 hose. This should all be assembled before installation in the cupboard. To assemble, remove the regulator from the box. This is a preset regulator that is set to 300 kPa. Remove the little red cap off your gas bottle, your CO2 bottle. The regulator will thread onto the bottle. Before you thread it onto the bottle, make sure the isolation valve is turned off. You will have noticed some CO2 gas escaped while I attached the regulator to the bottle. That's normal and is just the regulator connecting correctly to the bottle. Next connection is our CO2 hose. You will find an olive located on the hose with a cable tie. Cut that cable tie and fit the olive in the nut. The hose then needs to be done up onto the regulator thread. Use a shifting spanner to finalise the connection. A CO2 bottle strap is supplied with the unit. This needs to be mounted to the side of your cupboard so that when you fit your CO2 bottle it will be held steadfast in the upright position. Secure it with a Phillips head screw supplied in the box. The final connection of your CO2 is to fit the male end of the gas hose into the CO2 in on the command centre. Once connected you can turn the CO2 gas on. To test or make sure you have no CO2 or gas leaks, use a sponge and soapy water and dab it around your CO2 connection. If any bubbles appear, you've got a CO2 leak and you need to re-tighten the fitting. If not, clean the soapy water off and continue with the installation. Next step is to connect your hoses. They need to be cut to length and then connected to the HydroTap unit. The red silicon hose is for your boiling water out. Make sure you have good fall from the tap to the unit, measure it up, and then cut that hose to length. Push the silicon hose onto the boiling nib and make sure you've pushed it on by about 15 to 20 millimeters. 
There is no need for cable ties or clamps as the silicon hose will hold itself to that nib. Do the same with the vent hose. Also in the box, you will find insulation. To fit, put your insulation in half and cut or break the insulation. Then, grabbing either the blue or white hose, feed it through one end of the insulation. Once you've fitted the insulation to the hoses, you need to connect the hoses to the tap. Once you've fitted the hoses to the tap, you need to cut the hoses to length and then fit them to the hydro tap. Mark up the hoses so they have good fall from the tap to the unit and then cut them. Plug the blue hose into the chilled out and the white hose into the carbonation valve which is at the sparkling out. Next step, plug the power in, turn the water on and we'll start calibration. For newer models of the HydroTap, they come with an IEC electrical connection, which is found on the right hand side of the unit. Plug the cable in and turn the switch on. Once the power is turned on to your HydroTap, the first screen asks you which language would you like. I prefer English. Press next, it then asks you to do a CO2 purge. On the screen, press start. You will hear gas escape the tap. Wait for 10 seconds and press stop. Press next. The next screen asks you to do a filter flush. Open the filter door on the right hand side, locate the flush pipe and remove it. Using a bucket, open the stop valve and press start on the LCD. Water will start flushing through your filter flush hose. Wait till you've filled the bucket with at least 8 litres and then press stop. Turn it off and give it a good shake. Relocate the filter flush hose to the filter compartment. Once you've finished your filter flush, press next. The unit will now go into calibration. To start the calibration process, press calibrate. This process will take about 8 minutes for the unit to find boiling point. Once the calibration process is finished, your unit will ask you if you have a boost installed. Press home to go to the main menu. The writing on the top of the page will change depending on which model you have. And there you have it. Your boiling chilled sparkling hydro tap is now ready to use. For any other inquiries or installation questions, contact your ZIP distributor.